back to the ocean everyone. We've finally got a little weather break here over in Napier. It's been quite a windy couple of weeks. I really could have gone a couple of days and then it wasn't looking too good so then I cancelled and we're not going out to hunt kingfish today. We're just going to go out onto the sand and see if we can find a snapper or a gurnard. Just going to fish a little spot I found last year. Forecast for five knot variables inshore. So let's get into it. I'll tell you what, it's bloody stunning out here. Wasn't expecting it to be dead flat like this. But, looks like that's what we've got today. We're about to go out to one of my spots just along the coast. We're gonna have a look around the sand, look for some sign, and then we're gonna pump a massive burly trail because I've gotta get rid of some. A couple of mates have been actually catching kingfish in this area in quite shallow water about 10 meters. They seem to be taking baits over here, but they're not the biggest of kingfish. They're sort of 80 to 90 centimeter ones. Really, uh, since it's March now, I feel the snapper should start moving in shore. I did get a few last year about this time of year, but I haven't checked this spot at that time. It was a bit later on in April and May. I'll see you when I find some sign. Right, I've got to the rough area we want to be. At about 10 meters. I'll put that anchor down. Jeez, that water's nice and clean. I'm happy about that. I normally don't get it like this. Let that anchor down. Alright, now we let out a bit of rope. I'll we'll put the boy on so the anchor can hold. Give it about a meter and a half usually. Now just shove it in. And now we've got fish under us, I think. Unless it's marking the anchor. Oh no, those are fish. So today we are um, we're gonna be doing flasher versus uh, beer hook. I've got the KLTs on one and I've got a Snapper Snatcher original on the other. So I'm interested to see which one picks up more fish. Or if any fish. Alright, let's get some baits out. Oh wait, first. Always forgot. Get that in and pumping because we got to pump a heap today. Want to get those big snapper coming in? To start, we're going to go with the bullet tuna. Just give it a bit of a wet, makes it a bit easier to cut like that. Let it out overnight, so it's nice and supple. We can get the, the knife through it nice and easily. Right, we'll give it a, not too big baits because we're looking for gurnard as well. And this is the exact sort of bait that I've caught snapper on. Big snapper, up to 20. If it works on anything, this bullet tuna, get a bait on the other one. down and the holder and now we wait to so marks mid water and I put the um, baits up there and what are they mackerel Jeez, big mackerel make a good live eat we just might have to do that. Okay, on goes the rig. If I get this knot right. We don't want to be losing a fish to a knot like I did the last time at it one manama. Oh bang! Look at that. What have we got here? Car wire I'm assuming. Good one. Car why make this weird sound when they do these circles? So you can tell on the rod through the braid that um, what species they are. It's quite funny. They sort of sing the line. 
Oh, you caught a good one. Well, I could be a snapper. Could be, anyway. We'll see. It hasn't come up. Imagine that. Imagine if we got a snapper. That'd be great. Oh. And the longer this goes on without bringing them up, the more you expect it. And he's going up and down. That is a snapper. Look at that. Fuck. Would you look at that for a first fish of the day? Beautiful snapper. Look at that. Hee hee. Look at that. Beautiful snapper. Be a 45. Right, after being rudely interrupted by that nice snapper, let's try and get this bloody rig back on. Don't tell me that rod's getting bashed again. Alright, it's a good knot. Ain't gonna break. <clears throat> Oh, look at that. Bang. That's a big one, too. It's not a little one. It's not a little one. Not a little one at all. Another snapper. Yeah, looks like it. Hasn't done anything yet. What is it? Acting quite strange. It's not doing anything now. Oh, you beauty! Look at that! Fishing is unreal this morning. That's two, two eating fish, and one go. And you gotta, you gotta get in the net. Sorry, I'm not gonna risk it. Get in there. <laughs> beautiful. Oh, he's got beautiful colours on his wings too. Look at that. <laughs> well, I don't think earthquakes really do much. Beautiful. Get him in there. Nice and strong. Nose hooked. Let's hope he behaves himself. Another little one. Got a toy. Got the mackerel. Fresh mackerel. Look at that. Whoops. Jesus, he went quick. Okay, this spot is not really producing a whole lot anymore. I'm just getting played by uh, mackerel, small snapper, and also small gurnard. So it's Time to head out a bit deeper, I feel. Well, right, 
let's get going. At the next spot, just come a bit deeper to about 11 and a half meters. We're just gonna let that down, pump some burley, see what turns up. We've got a snapper, so I'm not too bothered about getting any more of them unless there's a big one. And thankfully at this depth we'll be able to release one. Gurnard, where are they I wonder? Got something big on there. What have we got here? Have we hooked a kingfish? Could be a trev. Not really doing much now. He's not heavy enough to be a kingfish. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my! <laughs> I was not expecting that to come up. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh, okay, okay. I was expecting a Trevally. Look at the size of that thing. That is a big gurnard. Look at the tail on the thing. Look at the size. Oh, buddy. Well, I can say the flasher rig works. It's got him right in the corner of the mouth. Oh, buddy. He's well over a kilo. Look at that. Look at the head on him. Those are the kind of gurnard that you want. I just thought it was a kingfish that didn't know what he was doing, but with those tail beats, it just, it was kicking like no tomorrow. Look at the tail on the thing. That's massive. And the wings. Wings are as bigger than my whole hand. Oh my goodness. Oh, I was not expecting red to come up at all. Not in a million years did I expect red. <laughs> Pretty slow today, but there's another good one, this one. Look at what we've got this time. Can't get the bottom. Heavy. Is it red? It is red. Oh my god. It's another big one. Another really big one. Didn't do the same thing as the last one. Wow. another base. Look at the size of them. 
Doing circles like Trevally. He's full of burly. That'll explain why he's here. Oh, look at the size. Oh, missed him. Circle. Get in there. Nice. Another massive gurnard. Not quite the size of the last one, but wow. Comfortable. They're all very red today. There's some good fat around there. <laughs> Nowhere near the size of the last one, but nice wings. He's got them all extended for us. Of one. Oh, he's not that big. I reckon I'll put him back. Come here. That's a pretty good fish. He powered away. The holders are catching them today. I can't catch one for the life of myself. Might be a snap of this one. Seems that way. It's doing, yeah, big head shakes and pulling. Might be big enough, we'll see. No, nah, not quite. He was a bit bigger than that. Not even in his mouth. Oh. Good fish. Just as precaution, I'll get that up. What have we got? Fishing's hotted up now that it's about 11 o'clock, and this is normally what happens. Snapper or a gurnard or something. It's quite heavy. Ah, he's got a gurnard. Don't care if you come off. Really? Still have plenty of meat that size, but today they're a lot bigger. So, a bit of an update. We have really got onto the fish now on this spot. And now we're hitting gurnard after gurnard after gurnard and a little bit of snapper too, but not big snapper. The gurnard are monsters. It's great to finally see some massive ones. I haven't seen any like that in probably half a year. So now we're just putting back gurnard I would normally keep that are well, well legal. Oh, that rod's getting whacked at the moment. Should get a hook up in a minute, but I, I haven't hooked a fish in my hand the whole day. It's been all holders. If I put it in the holder, it gets eaten. So that's what we're going to have to keep doing, I think. Yeah, the wind's starting to slowly build, but it's not due to get really bad until later on. We'll probably stick it out for another hour, maybe. Then we'll shoot in and we've got heaps of fish for dinner. So sweet. We do. Jesus. Oh, that one got the camera wet. There we go. Hooks out. Oh, yeah, another one. Perfect for eating this size. Rods are in, Burley's done. Just gonna pull the anchor in and we're gonna get on our way.
We've just got in from kayak fishing today out of Napier and we have this really big gurnard here. I'm hoping it might be a PB. I've got the scales here and this is the moment of truth. Will it go? Beast. Pretty good one. Not a PB. It's pretty good. 